here we are at the beautiful Jefferson USC station. I'm probably the first person in here that isn't Metro staff. As you can see, it's opening day, 4.43 a.m., only 20 minutes until the first inaugural public Expo Line train pulls through here. So, the uh, ticket vending machines are still covered over, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow or some other time, I don't know, to pick up the limited edition Expo Line tap card. But uh, it's a really nice looking clean station. There's some mural art all around. Uh, and we're still 15 minutes away from the announced start time, so there's nobody here. Um, so I guess I'll just sit here for about 20 minutes. Still at Jefferson USC station. Here it is, 4.55 a.m. The first train should be on her way up here. Uh, expecting her in about nine minutes. I don't know why I'm using the female pronoun, but uh, it should be here soon. Woo! Here's the view down the tracks. Obviously, there's nothing here yet. A few police cars have come passing by on a flower over here, and I've gotten a few weird looks for being over on the station, but I mean, that's what they're here to protect, so. This is pretty cool. I just noticed this. I'm not sure whether you can see it, if at all, on this video, but it looks like over there, for uh, northbound drivers, northbound operators, there's a little video feed looking backwards on the platform to give them a view of, I guess, if their doors are closed or some other clearances that they need to see. That's a pretty neat thing. I know that uh, Seattle Link cars have something like that in the cab, but that's kind of cool to have a wayside video board there. I wonder how long that lasts before it gets a bottle thrown at it or someone going through the emergency exit and uh, stick a knife through it, but for now it's pretty cool. Over here we've got the cool little area connections, USC almost spider map type things that they've got over here. These are pretty cool. Over on the other uh, stand there's the Go Metro map and the 15 minute map, both updated with the Expo line. And then we've got this big old ad reminding us that we need to tap in our tap cards. Um, not this weekend, folks, but after this, make sure you've paid. The other thing I noticed earlier, the only sign of life from this station. I don't know if you can see it at all. Maybe there it is. But there's a little bit of trash in the bottom of a couple of the trash cans. Um, other than that, it's pretty dead out here. Only a few more minutes now, maybe we can see it over the horizon pretty soon. The uh, clock on the variable message board says 5 a.m. That should mean about three minutes away if the schedule, regular schedule is being followed right now. Uh, every glimpse of everything I see down there, down the road, I'm saying train, 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 and there's been a couple cars and just a couple of lights that were nothing of the sort. Um, Needless to say, I'm very excited, and I hope I'll see a train soon. Alright, this time it really is a train. She's way down there. I don't know if it's possible to see this train, but uh, I'll keep the video rolling as it approaches and pulls into the station. Here it is, the first Expo Line train uh, in operation for passengers. Um, gosh, am I ever excited. It looks beautiful from here. There's so much... This thing doesn't do too well in dark light. I've got a low battery warning, so we'll hope that we can make it through the train pulling into the station. Um, and then maybe I'll make another video later once I can get some fresh juice in here. Um, also, the it's a little dark... The Culver City Station is arriving. Please stand clear of the track. Oh, hooray. What wonderful thing to hear. There we go, everybody's got their cameras out. Let's go hop aboard. 